Hello. Thought I'd make a quick video on the display upgrade or repair of a Bendix King KY97A. It probably would pertain also to the 96A or the other models. Uh, what happened here, I'm going to show you a picture of what happened with the display. It would kind of kick out and especially during a cold morning or cold period of time, the display would disappear. So what I just did is I went, I mean, you know, let's face it, we're talking about unlicensed repair here. But what you can do is you come over here and remove these screws on the either side so that the faceplate comes free, which it will. It'll come right off, no problem. Then on the internal part, you have to unscrew the display very carefully and it'll pop out, no problem. And at that point, what you want to do is take a Q-tip with some type of cleaner on it. And I just happen to have this. I don't say, you know, I'm not running an ad here, but this has got uh, an anti-static kind of cleaning effect. You don't want to put a powerful solvent on this, but you go in there and clean the contacts everywhere this kind of little rubber pad comes down on where the LCD has to touch a circuit board. It's very delicate and the screws are very tiny so you could lose them. Anyway, as you can see right now the display is stable. I want to show it in the dark if I can. And that's about as bright as I can get it. Another thing that you should know is that there's a fine adjustment there's a fine adjustment on the dimming, which is right here. A fine screwdriver will fit in there and counterclockwise actually increases the brightness. And then, of course, clockwise decreases it. So as you can hear, it's actually working and all is well. I hook it up here on the bench with a small power supply. And I've got the harness and all of that stuff back here not much to look at really but uh, anyway that'll help you to uh, get this going again I don't think it's really a licensed repair mess unless you were to do something drastic and I notice uh, that there is a seal on this machine right here this this radio Honeywell's got a seal on it I did not disturb the seal so there you go that may help you out you might not have to send it in after all Came back out in the shop this morning. As you can see, the thermometer says it's just short of 15 degrees C. Got the power supply on, so now let's turn it on and see if we have eliminated the problem. Shut this off. Yeah. Well, I think that fix has worked.